Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today's video is more of a techniques video rather than a new recipe video. That's because this melt-in-your-mouth luxurious sugar-free creamy milk chocolate fudge actually combines two of my previously posted recipes. To begin with, this sugar-free creamy milk chocolate fudge has a macronutrient ratio of 14.4 to 1 with 1.3 grams of total carbs, 0.2 grams of dietary fiber, resulting in 1.1 gram of net carbs per serving, or one square. For this recipe, you will need two basic ingredients. As I've mentioned, I have already posted. The first ingredient is my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk. For your information, I will post the links to all of the recipes I will talk about in this video, and they will be available in the YouTube description under the photo. I would recommend that you make the sweetened condensed milk first and, if possible, on the same day that you intend to make the fudge. Although you can liquefy the sweetened condensed milk, it's just so much easier to just make it on the same day. And after you've made the sweetened condensed milk, just set the bowl aside in order to allow enough time for the condensed milk to cool down a bit. So there's no confusion with which sweetener I re refer to. I would like to be clear that I use Lacanto monk fruit based sweetener, which I have ground to a confectionery sweetener or powder consistency. I use this particular sweetener in almost all of my recipes. And now to continue with the next step while my sweetened condensed milk is cooling. I next make the chocolate truffle mixture. This is also a very easy process and I make it the same day as well. In a bowl that will fit over my bain-marie or double boiler, I place all my chocolate truffle ingredients. Whatever order you toss them in doesn't matter. What is more important is that you try to measure as accurately as you can. Then put the bowl over the pot on your stove top that has the simmering water. If you're not familiar with this technique, the reason you do this is because the steam is used to gently melt the chocolate and the other ingredients. Also, I'd like to remind you that when melting chocolate, always do so over low heat. That's because chocolate scorches easily over high heat. When everything has melted and you have a nice creamy chocolate mixture, continue cooking over low heat for about five more minutes. This will allow the sugar alcohols to combine and this extra time will greatly reduce the crystallization of the fudge when it's cooled. And don't forget to scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl as you continue cooking. As I was making this recipe, my son came in and asked, why don't I just melt some chocolate like I did for the other recipe? To which I replied, if I use the Baker's chocolate, the Lynn 90% or the Lily's premium chocolate chunks, the result would be the same dark chocolate fudge. And what I really want for this recipe is a true milk chocolate flavor. And the only way to get that creamy melt in your mouth milk chocolate flavor, the very best thing to do is to make my truffle fudge. There's also a second huge benefit by making my chocolate truffle, which is actually an amazing fat bomb all by itself. The combination of my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk and this amazing chocolate truffle recipe results in an amazing 14.4 to 1 macro ratio, which is much better than just by melting chocolate. And by combining these two specific recipes, you will get an authentic milk chocolate flavor. And that's what we're after. Now that the chocolate is done, Remove the bowl from the pot and let your chocolate cool a bit. By the way, we're almost done. There are only two more things to do. First, combine the sweetened condensed milk with the truffle mixture. Stir well until you have a really creamy, homogenous mixture. You don't want any streaks of white or chocolate. Lastly, pour your fudge mixture into the parchment lined container. I prefer a glass container, but use whatever you like. Then place the container in the refrigerator for about one hour. That's all the time it will need for everything to firm up. And you absolutely do not need to freeze this fudge in order for it to set. When your fudge is set and nice and firm, remove it from the fridge and lift it out of the container. Then just peel off the sides of the parchment. To get 18 pieces, I cut the block into three equal rows lengthwise and then six equal rows along the width. Try to make all the rows as even as possible. And there you are. Now it's time to enjoy. For your information, this fudge will keep well in an airtight container if you store it in the refrigerator. How long it will last in your refrigerator will totally depend on your willpower. I found that after two weeks, the fudge still tasted nice and fresh. 
However, I would like to recommend that if you're going to make this ahead of time or intend to eat a little at a time yourself over a longer period, it is best to store your fudge in a freezer. Unfreezing this fudge is very simple. Either place it on your counter and let it get to room temperature or place it in the refrigerator the night before or a day and a half before. You'll find that this fudge is quite stable at room temperature and can be left on a plate for over an hour, except in hot weather or if your room is very hot. And if you're wondering what to do with your leftover chocolate truffle mixture, pour it into a mold and make chocolate truffle fat bombs. If you like my recipes, please consider buying me a coffee. A Kofi link is available in the description below. To everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. And please let me know if you have a favorite fudge flavor that you would like to recommend and one that I could make for some future video. Recommendations are always welcome. I will post my next recipe on September 8th. That is because I want to remember my mom's birthday and to honor her. One of the things my mom really loved were cheesecakes. And I'm sure she would have loved the one that I will be posting in her honor this year. So if you have not done so already, please turn on your notification bell so you will be notified when I post that recipe. I want everyone to know that I greatly appreciate the time you have taken to watch this video. And the link for the printable recipe for this sugar-free creamy milk chocolate fudge will be posted in the YouTube description.